Hi, I'm Domi, a developer relations engineer for payments. We know that as a developer, it can be hard to test your payment flows. That's why for GPay, we continuously enhance our test card suite. In this video, we are going to have a look at how you can test your GPay integration with three simple steps. The first step is to join the Test Card Suite Google Group with the account you're using to test your GPay integration. This ensures the GPay sheet shows test cards instead of real cards for your account. As a second step, make sure to configure the GPay Payments client to use the test environment. This example shows how to do this for a web and Android integration. Finally, if you use one of the listed gateways, the GPay sheet will show test cards of the respective gateway in the payment sheet. I'm going to show you an example in a minute. Reach out to your payment gateway if you don't see it in this list. We are happy to add support for more PSPs in the future. And that's it. That's what was necessary to start using Test Card Suite. Next, let's see how the GPay sheet will look like and also discuss a couple of other important things when testing your GPay integration. On the left hand side, the GPay sheet shows a list of your test cards when testing your Android app or with Chrome on Android. An important thing to note is the tokenized label. The tokenized label indicates that by selecting one of those cards, a device token, also known as DPEN, will be returned. This will allow you to test a GPay flow with a device token end to end. On the right hand side, you can see the same GPay sheet for the web. As of today, device tokens are only available for Android and Chrome on Android, and that's why there is no tokenized label for web. So wouldn't it be nice to be able to write automated tests for your GPay integration? Let me share a code snippet with you on how you could achieve this on Android. By leveraging a testing framework like UI Automator, we can write a test. First, we wait until the GPA sheet comes up. We then select the card chooser arrow to bring up the list of test cards. And finally, we select the test card we want and click the continue button. The selection of the card happens by card description. This will allow you to write different test cases per available card. As an example, you might want to write a test simulating a decline card. You can achieve that by selecting the right card from the GPay sheet if your PSP supports testing such a flow. For the web, the main difference is that we first have to switch to the payment handler window and select the corresponding iframe context. In this example, we are using Puppeteer to achieve that. Once we did that, we can change to a specific test card similar to how we did on Android. We can't wait to learn from you how you will leverage Test Card Suite to automatically test your GPay flows. Let us know what you think in the comments below and how we could further improve GPay testing capabilities in order to make your lives easier. Additionally, check the links in the video description to find more resources around GPay. Thank you for watching and until next time.